Good morning, class. Today's lesson is 3.2. Compare and order integers. Our essential question today is, how can you compare and order integers? You can use a number line to compare the integers. Let's unlock the problem. On one play of football game, the ball changed position by negative 7 yards. On the next play, the ball changed the position by negative 4 yards. Compare negative 7 and negative 4. Use a number line to compare the numbers. So let's graph negative 7 and negative 4 on the number line. So here's my negative 7, and there's my negative 4. Note the locations of the numbers. Negative 7 is to the left, so here's my negative 7. It's to the left of negative 4 on the number line. So negative 7 is less than negative 4 because I'm going counting down on this is my zero when I go this way my numbers get greater but when I go this way my numbers get less so let's continue comparing we have a whole of positive 5 and a negative 9 so there's my positive 5 and then my negative 9 is right here so the 5 is to the right of negative 9 because the 5 is over here it's to the right of negative 9 so the 5 is going to be greater than than the negative 9. Here's my 0. So remember when I go this way my numbers get bigger. When I go this way my numbers get less. So negative 9 is bigger than negative 8. Or I'm sorry, is smaller than negative 8 and negative 7 and negative 6 and negative 5 and so on. Okay, let's compare negative 2 and 0. So here's my negative 2 and here's my 0. So negative 2 is to the left of 0 on the number line because there we go it's to the left of it so negative 2 is going to be less than 0 alright you can use vertical number line to order integers as well so here's my vertical number line and the table given is gives the coldest temperatures recorded in seven cities in 2007 so Anchorage, Boise, Duluth, Los Angeles, Memphis and Pittsburgh so they want us to order the temperatures from least to greatest. So step one is to draw a dot on the number line to represent the rec rec record temperatures of each city and then write the first letter of the city beside the dot. So Anchorage is ne negative 17, so I'm going to find negative 17. So here's negative 10, and here's negative 20. So it's going to be probably closer to the 20 than it is the 10. So I'm going to write negative 17, and this is Anchorage, so I'm going to write AK. Um, so I've done this one. Now Boise, Idaho is positive 7. So again, here's 10, here's 0, so this is probably 5. So it's going to be somewhere in here. And this is going to be positive 7, and this is for Idaho. And then I have Duluth, which is negative 25. So I'm going to go down here. And that looks at, that's right in between the 20 and the 30, the negative. So negative 25, and this is going to be for Duluth, Minnesota. And then we have Los Angeles, California, which is a positive 35. Again, this number right here, or this mark right here is in between the 30 and the 40. So that's going to be 35, and that's for California. Then I have Memphis, Tennessee, and that's going to be 18. Again, it's going to be in between this 15 and this 20 mark. So I'm going to put it about right there. So this is going to be 18, and this is for Tennessee. And then finally, we have Pittsburgh, which is a negative 5, which is going to be right here in between the 0 and the negative 10. So this is negative 5, and this is for Pittsburgh. Then, let's say step 2 is to write the record temperatures in order from least to greatest. Explain how you determine the order. Well, as I'm looking here, this is least to greatest, right? Because this is my number 0. Anything going down is going to be smaller. Same here. So I've got my 35. Anything going down is going to be smaller. So least to greatest is going to start with negative 25, and it's going to end with a 35. To explain how I determine the order, well, I simply listed the temperatures and orders they appeared from the bottom to the top. Use a table and number line to answer each question. Which city had the colder record temperature, Memphis or Pittsburgh? Let me move this back. Is right here, and Pittsburgh's right here. So Pittsburgh had a negative 15 below. 18 on the number line. So negative 5, I'm sorry, negative 5 below the 18 on the number line. 
So negative 5 is going to be colder than Memphis. And which city had the warmest temperature? And how do you know? Well, Los Angeles is 35 above, right? It's above all the others. Labeled points on the line, so it's going to be the warmest temperature. Now, what are the record temperatures for Boise, Memphis, and Pitt Pittsburgh in order from least to greatest? So we had negative 5 right here, and then negative 7, and then negative 18. So negative 5 negative or positive 7 and then positive 18 and the next question says what are the record temperatures for Anchorage Duluth and Los Angeles in order from least to grace so Los Angeles was 35 right which is greater than the negative 17 right and then the other one they wanted to do was negative 25 and that's going to be our least amount all right, let's compare a few numbers in the share and show. So I have negative 8, and I have 6, positive 6. So which one's going to be greater? Well, if I did my number line, I got my 0 here, right? My 6 is going to be on this side, but my negative 8 is going to be on this side. Remember that when it's to the right, this is the bigger numbers, and it goes down from there. So that means my 6 is actually going to be bigger. Even though 8 normally is a bigger number, but it's a negative 8, right? It's on the other side of the 0. So if I'm comparing 1 and negative 8, again, my, my 1, my positive number, is going to be bigger than my negative number. Now, on these, we're ordering numbers from least to greatest. So we have a positive 4, a negative 3, and a negative 7. So when I'm doing my number line, I have my 0 here, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 is going to be my bigger number then I'm going to have negative 3 and negative 7, right? So um, negative 3 is going to be less than, I'm sorry, negative 7 is going to be less than negative 3. And then negative 3 is going to be less than um, positive 4. I'd like you to do the rest on your own. You can work with a partner or myself um, if you need any help. All right, good luck.